A lot of people in our area reeling tonight over the fallout following the death of Masa Amini in Iran. Now, things have actually taken a violent turn. Dozens of people also speaking out about the current regime, and they're now being put to death. Fox 26's Gabby Hart joining us live tonight with the latest on this story. Gabby. Uh, Jonathan, there have been reports of young protesters being hung and executed in public as a fear tactic. Now, I spoke with an Iranian activist who lives here in Houston, and she says the conditions her home country uh, are facing are far worse than anyone can imagine. It's bloody, it's insane, it's, and there is a lot of injustice that is happening. The internet has been shut down in the Islamic State of Iran since September after 22-year-old Masa Amini died in the custody of morality police. She was arrested for not wearing her hijab properly, her death sparking human rights protests throughout the country. For the first time in the nation's history, young men and women took to the streets fighting for their freedom and demanding a regime change. In prison, they're tortured. Men and women are raped. Danya Zirak Sadi was born and raised in Iran. She's now a Houston resident, and she's been leading protests here locally. We were absolutely surprised by December 8th execution of Mohsen Shakirami. He was only 23. Stories have been pouring in about young teens, as well as men and women in their early to mid-20s, being executed with no chance at due process. They just hung uh, publicly. Um, uh, Majid Reza Rahnavard, he was 23 as well. And then they let his family know that we have buried your son. Iranian soccer player Amir Nasser Azadani capturing headlines. The 26 year old facing execution for speaking out. Fifth Pro, the Global Soccer Players Union, sending out this tweet calling for his punishment to be stopped, saying they're, quote, shocked and sickened. What can people do to help? Say their names. The more we say their names on the news and show their pictures, there is more pressure on the regime to not execute these youth. And Danya is asking local politicians and just everyday residents to go to their website and pick the name of someone facing execution and then sponsor them by simply keeping their names alive. You can find a link to that website on fox26houston.com.